Hi, welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. I'm theater critic Jay Handelman with my arts editor and books editor Susan Reif, and we're going to share some highlights of the week ahead in, in the arts. So, Susan, why don't you get us started? Well, we're starting off with the Sarasota Contemporary Dance, formerly known as Fusion, which uh, incredibly has reached its 10 year anniversary wow. with a program this weekend called Retrospect, appropriately, retrospective of 10 years of programs. All of these are pieces choreographed by the director, Lemus Boyanos Wilmot, the first of several complicated names that I will be pronouncing today. Uh, and they are doing performances Thursday through Sunday at the FST Center for the Performing Arts. FSU and it, Center. Sorry, FSU Center for the Performing Arts. Uh, and the cool thing, in addition to all of these pieces having been choreographed by Lamus over all of these years, is that some of previous dancers from earlier years are coming back oh, to do them again, which is going to be really great. It's also going to be interesting to see how well this new name catches on for them, this contemporary dance. I well, keep forgetting that it's, oh, that's really Fusion, and how, lo how long will it take it, me to forget that? It doesn't Fusion fit in a headline, and every time that's I right. see SCD, I don't know what it is, but anyway, yeah, very good. be that as it may. If you're uh, open to traveling over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, we have Sondheim on Sondheim opening at the Free Fall Theater, which is one of the most innovative uh, spaces, I think, in our area. And two Sarasota performers, Ann Morrison and Larry Alexander, are starring in this musical, which features video clips of Stephen Sondheim talking about some of the songs that the cast then performs. And it also features Eric Davis, who's the founder and artistic director, who has, I think, directed almost every other show this year, but he's now performing, performing on, in the show. Uh, instead of directing, Chris Crawford is directing it. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. If you like Sondheim, this sounds like uh, right up your alley. And it's, it's worth the trip. It's not a tough theater to find. It it's sort of out in the suburbs. It's the, no, it's on Central <laughs> Avenue in St. Petersburg. It takes from downtown Sarasota, it takes about 45 minutes to yeah, get there. Yeah, it's but. not bad. And you can have dinner up there somewhere interesting as well. Then we have Guitar Sarasota performing or offering a performance on Saturday night. This is Cavatina Duo. And here we go with unusual names to pronounce. This is a flute and guitar duo. Eugenia Molinar, who is from Spain, plays the flute, and her husband, Denis Azabajic, who's from Bosnia, um, plays the guitar. And they met as teenagers in Rotterdam and have been playing together ever since. So that's Saturday night at the Unitarian Universalist Church. And no one here is going to be able to tell you if you pronounce those names right nope. or wrong. So we're hoping you Everyone's got it a right. Critic. That's right. <laughs> Uh, at the Manatee Players this weekend, they're opening a new production of Bye Bye Birdie, the 1960s musical that's sort of a takeoff on Elvis Presley, mm -hmm. and it's about a, an Elvis-like singer who is about to join the Army, but his manager, who is also trying to promote his songwriting career, gets Conrad to go visit a small town in Ohio, I think, and give uh, one of his big fans one last kiss before he signs off, and it creates all sorts of problems for them. So And there's hip swiveling. There's hip swiveling, and probably guitar playing, too. Right, probably so. guitar playing. And a lot of young people. Yes, that's always a fun show. It's very popular among the uh, high school drama crowd. Because there are a lot of great show. roles for yeah. young, young performers. Young performers' yeah. roles, that's, that's great. great. Cirque de Voix, which is uh, the annual collaboration between Key Corral and the Circus Arts Conservatory, is this weekend, um, Saturday uh, and Sunday, at kind of odd times. There's a 2 o'clock Saturday and a 5 o'clock Sunday. Hmm. If you can get a ticket, you better grab it quick because they are um, sort of rare as hen's teeth and, and they don't have too many options for shows because of everybody else's schedule in the world. But this year, in addition to the music director, Joe Calkins, getting to you know channel his inner ringmaster, which he gets to he wear a crazy to costume. Yes. He really has missed his calling, I'm thinking. Uh, is, is conducting a piece called uh, Night of the Wolf by Knox Arcana, which is probably less well known to the typical Key Corral audience and more well known to kind of a goth audience. It's a very dark, mysterious kind of piece. Uh, so that's, it's pretty exciting. And the, one of the composers of that is supposed to be here on Saturday for that okay. as well. So that is um, Saturday and Sunday at the Circus Big Top up there by University Town Center. And we don't always promote ourselves so much, but you mentioned Dark and Mysterious. There's really nothing dark and mysterious about my behind the scenes column this week, which is about how well the arts organizations in our area have been doing. And sort of triggered by my trip up to the Oslo the other day to find out about their new season. And uh, well, you were up there at the, same time. There at the same time. The Ringland Museum is a free day. The parking lot was jam packed. People were circling for 20 minutes. 
and uh, it made me start thinking, well, gee, everybody's doing pretty well. The Oslo's been selling out shows, Florida Studio Theater's extended, the opera. So my column this week is a little bit about how everybody's been doing, and uh, so you can take a look at that in Sunday's Herald Tribune art section. Yeah, everybody seems to be having a pretty good year, which is really nice to see. Good you know, for us. Lots of lots of um, full houses at many of the things that we've been out, which has been really um, awesome. It's yeah. good to see things going well. So that's all we have for you this week. It's just kind of a, the tip of the iceberg of the things that are going on. Um, you can always look up other things, including our reviews and other stories at Ticket Sarasota dot com backsplash backslash arts and in or our backsplash if backslash you backslash arts <laughs> or you can turn on HGTV for or, them. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and you can look those things up there and also we're in print in ticket on Thursdays and in the Sunday art section so we'll look for you next time thanks bye